Hey guys, so it's a really rainy, miserable day here in New York, but I'm packing up for an eight day trip to Florida and I can't wait. Getting all my camera gear together right now and I'm getting my essential stuff in order. And I was reminded of, you know, something that's really become essential, obviously, in photography is a computer, but specifically a laptop. So I wanna talk about why I switched from a desktop to a laptop just a couple of years ago and really how it's changed my workflow and how it's really made my life a lot easier. So obviously computers have become a super essential part of photography and editing in a lot of cases is just as important in art form as the photography itself. And all my editing for a lot, the you know, same thing for a lot of you guys is done on uh, a laptop. It used to be that I did everything on a desktop computer. So I'll head over there. Basically I had my, desktop set up in a central part of the house, uh, which I think was a pretty good idea. It's kind of right in the middle of everything, right in the middle of the kitchen, right by the door to the backyard, right by the den. I had my whole computer situation set up here. I still have my computer set up on a desk uh, with my Wampa collection, which is very nice. But basically anytime I would ever edit anything, whether it's videos like this or photographs, I was stuck at this workstation. And it was great to be able to use, you know, a really big screen. I, you know, people sometimes have this huge setup with multiple monitors, uh, you know, big keypads, you know, all kinds of photo editing tools and things like that. And it's great to have that stuff, but I was always stuck in that location anytime I wanted to do any work. Now, something could be said for that also in that when you're there, you're doing the work, and when you're away from that location, you're doing something else, not photo related. Uh, you know, sometimes the line between work and play gets blurred and you can have your work with you wherever you go and end up spending time working when you should be maybe relaxing or enjoying. But for me with photography, you know, the photography stuff is really more enjoyable than almost anything else that I do. So I decided a couple of years ago to take everything off my desktop, my Lightroom program, my Adobe Premiere Pro, all of my raw files, all of my JPEGs, basically everything I do, not just in photography, but in everything, and load it onto my laptop. And now I'm basically working remotely wherever and however I want to. And that's made a really, really huge difference in my life, in my workflow, in basically everything that I do. Because now it's not so much, okay, now I'm working on something, I'm sitting in a spot and doing it. It's kind of become, I have it with me wherever I go. So I've got a bag that I keep all of my laptop related things in. Of course with Apple you've got to have dongles and things like that so I have a bag here that basically goes with me wherever I go. I mean this is always with me. Uh, it's got my memory card reader, it's got uh, a mouse obviously, my dongles, a uh, small microphone in there, everything that I could possibly need to do any kind of photo editing, any kind of video editing, video creation, things like that. Everything's in there, the laptop's in there, and it goes with me really wherever I go. And not just like out of the house, I can take it anywhere I want in the house, the laptop. If I wanna sit on the couch over there and do some work, if I'm working in other locations, I have it with me. If I'm gonna be, you know, I, got, I drive my kids around places. If I'm gonna be dropping someone off someplace, picking someone else up, and I have a half hour or an hour in between, I can sit in the car, I can do work, I can sit, you know, at a coffee shop and I can do work. Basically, I can get things done in little bits and pieces at my own convenience whenever I want to. And then also taking it with me on photo trips, on vacations, on things like that. I always have it with me this way. At the end of the day, I can back up all my memory card stuff onto there also. And I can also kind of get started on editing, organizing, things like that because I've got basically my whole system with me here. And then I can see if I'm gonna be in a location for multiple days and there's something that I didn't quite get right on the first try, I can go back maybe the next day or the day after and do it again. I have a better idea on how things are going. If it's a multiple day shoot, how things are going basically by having my full access to my computer and basically editing as I go along. And if I wanna post anything from the remote location, I have all the tools at my fingertips there. And it's really sped up my workflow as far as being able to have access to this all the time. Like I said, I can get things done quickly and easily wherever I happen to be. And I'm not locked into one location having to sit at the old desktop over there to get things done. Now you wanna definitely keep it safe. I back it up every day, almost every day. Uh, and I keep the backup on a hard drive at another location, this way if anything ever happens, you know, something goes wrong, I lose the laptop, it falls off a cliff, 
I have a backup within a day or so and I can just restore the whole thing to a new computer if I need to. So I'm not gonna ever lose anything. So if you were ever thinking like, you know, I love my desktop, I love my setup here, but I don't know, maybe, you know, I'm thinking about maybe using a laptop instead. I was thinking the same thing a couple of years ago. I made the switch. I highly, highly recommend unplugging from the location and getting out there and then you can basically do whatever you need to do wherever you happen to be. It's really changed uh, my life in the sense that it's given me more freedom and more free time and a much better workflow. So highly recommend the laptop. Whatever kind you get, it doesn't have to be a MacBook, it doesn't have to be a, a, you know, a really expensive laptop, just something with enough storage on it to fit you know, what you have now and you know, the photos that you're gonna be shooting for the next couple of years before maybe you have to get a new one uh, a couple of years from now. But have enough storage in there. You don't need a ton of processing power. Uh, if you're just using Lightroom and you're just using something maybe like Adobe Premiere Pro for minor video editing, you don't need a huge amount of processing on a laptop. You really just It's really just the storage. So I hope you found that a little bit interesting. I just wanted to kind of make a note as I was packing things up about what's become a really essential part of my travel camera gear um, is the laptop. It goes with me wherever I go. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.